Hey everyone, it's good to see you all. We are closing in on a thousand subscribers in just over a month, and I'm really uh, thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to be playing uh, game 33 today. So let's see who we're playing. And I'm going to try to talk through each move and what I'm thinking uh, in this game today. We're at 16.59. Let's see who we're playing. Gog from the Philippines. Okay, we're going to play... We're going to play... What are we going to play? Let's play d4. I'm just feeling it. Okay, so striking in the center... And uh, here we put another pawn. He can take this pawn. This is a gambit. It's called the Black Mardemer Gambit. We are now going to attack this pawn that we've uh, allowed to come here. And here we give him another pawn. So, he is currently up one pawn. And we've also given him this pawn that he could have taken, but he didn't. So, I'm feeling okay about that. I'm going to bring my bishop here to attack this square, move my knight in, and see what we can do here. Okay, I think his position is already very bad. We can come here and take this pawn, and our bishop is defending us. He can move his knight here to defend, but he didn't, so we're going to go and check him. And he can't kill us with his queen, or he loses his queen. So, he's just in a really bad situation here. Um, this looks completely winning for us. I'm not sure what he's going to try to do. He'll probably move his king here. And as soon as he does, we take that rook, I think. Or do I try to do something before I take it? I think what I'm going to do is protect this pawn. And we can castle here because our rook and queen, although they're on the same diagonal, this pawn is blocking his bishop in. So we will take this rook on the next move, most likely. Okay, now we take it. We have a very good position here. And we can attack a lot. He is now attacking our pawn here. So I think what we do is we just step over to defend it. Okay, he's jumped out here. He's attacking our bishop. And the bishop's the only one who really holds down this square. He's also got this here. So I think we can give this uh, knight up. It's it's basically going to gonna be dead to us. I think we can sack here. He takes and we would come here. Actually, this looks okay. Because if I do this, we're just trading pieces. Yeah, this looks okay. Now, I do have to be careful because he does have a bishop here. And if his queen comes here, he can, uh, you know, threaten checkmate. So I do have to be a little careful of that, but I think we're okay right now. Okay, so he decided to take with a pawn because taking with the queen would allow our knight to escape. Um, now, we, we basically want to trade here, and I would also like to get my pieces onto this side of the board to defend my, my king. However, what else do we have going on here? We could go pawn here. If we go pawn here, then that would allow our knight to escape. But if I go pawn here, he can come here and threaten checkmate. So I am a little nervous about this. Maybe maybe the move is, is to bring the, the bishop back. Hit the queen. I think. Force the queen to move. He could also bring his his bishop or his knight in. But if he does that, then he's just trading pieces. He's just trading pieces down, and we want to trade because we're ahead. Okay, so he just stepped over. He's still threatening us here, and now he has this move. Where we can't take his bishop because our queen... 
the queen is uh, attacking our king. I really want to just trade off as best as I can here. What about this move? We have a fork, but we don't we don't have it quite yet. I could come here and then do the fork. Um, I don't want to waste too much time thinking about this. I think I'm going to just offer the trade. If I come here, he does have bishop. No, he doesn't because I can just take with the queen. I could just come here and capture it. So basically, I want to trade off the queens because the queens is most powerful piece. And if we can get rid of it, then um, we're going to be in a very solid position. Okay, he's just taking this here, which is fine. Should we come here to force him to, to go backwards? Don't think that's terrible. Let's do that and then develop our knight. Okay, so we're up one point. Um, I have two rooks and he's got three minor pieces. I have two minor pieces. Uh, or bishops and knights. So this game is definitely not won yet, but we can uh, we can we can still do work here. Let's get our rook onto an open file and hit his pawn. I would like to just trade these off if possible. Let's get the other rook on an open file here. And if he comes here, this is protected. Okay. Um, what is weak? Not quite sure how to attack him here. I think the less pieces on the board, the better. If he comes here with either piece, we just trade. I'm just going to try to trade, I still think. But we want to try to trade into a good position. Um, I actually don't like my position. I probably blundered something at some point. Um, this is holding both the pawns. This pawn is weak. We could come here. And try to get in here, maybe. Okay, his bishop's on this diagonal. If we come here and push and take here. It's not an amazing plan. It also connects these. And this is a, um, a pawn we don't want to allow up. If I go here, he takes here. And we win this, but then we could come back and maybe win this one. I don't know. Okay, no, not quite because we took with the... Um, we, he took with the uh, knight, but that means this pawn is still isolated, and this one is also isolated. Now we can move this pawn up and an outpost here, which I do kind of like. He can't come here or here because of these pawns. If he takes, we'll just take, and we'll have a three pawns connected. And then we can come up here and try to hit this one. If this does take, um, we also have a knight move here, where we would hit this twice, and hit this twice. Take, take. Um, what about here, here, no, I think I need to break open this, so let's just push the pawn, I think, 
but we also don't want to let him in. So I do have to be a bit careful. Okay, that makes this very weak. But if we trade here, he can recapture with knight and protect it, which is really annoying. Um, what about here and here? No. Um, if we push here, he's 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 strong on these light squares. If we push this one more and try to get in here, if the knight basically moves, so we're giving him this square to move to, which is fine. He can he can come here though, which is. A little dangerous. I think I'm going to stay on the dark squares here. I basically want this knight to come here and then trade and win a pawn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. This is really tricky. Come here and hit it. If I come here and then he can come here, I would take, he would take, then I'd have a pass pawn. But my king would be trapped in here, which would be really risky. If he ever got his knight here, I would just be done. Yeah, let's threaten his piece. Threatening him here. If he mistakenly defends with the knight... Then we win a pawn. If he does m defend with the with the knight, is there anything else we can do? I don't know. I think he has to move. So where is he going? Is he going here? This seems like the most logical. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. I think this is right. This is weak, but my king is defending. Okay, now I can take here, he's defending. Um, maybe I come here. I think I come here, and if he comes here, we, uh, we just check, he takes, we take with check. And then even though he's attacking this, he could come here, we can, can we defend it? We could take this one, yeah. He could come here, and he's not going to, and we're just gonna go for this pawn, I think. He's, he's attacking this one, but he actually can't take it yet. I think we take this one, or do we take, we go here. I think we go for this one. This is still defended by my knight. Is this checkmate here? He's threatening this, and I can come up, and then he can come back, and then I can come down, and that's a, a stalemate, so I don't want that. I think I have to give him this. He'll take here, and then I can get out. And then I'll come in and I'll fork both the pieces. Otherwise, it's a stalemate. Now he has to defend here, and we take the pawn.
We have a minute 30. We're doing okay. Okay, I'm just going to take it. And I will sack my rook if I have to. And I win this. Because this is with check. Yeah, he's just struggling now. Okay, we managed to survive this, I think. Um... This was a really intense game, but I think we are going to get our next victory. We haven't lost this week. I think I'm playing pretty well, but we did get him in some sort of sneaky opening that he fell for. We'll target the bishop here. He can't check with a with a king and a bishop, so I'm I'm not worried anymore. But with that pawn, like it was a little a little sketch. Um, I guess we uh, we don't lose on time. Come here and hit him. Okay. Okay, and we'll just promote a pawn. Okay, and we can go real slow here because we have plenty of time. GG. Right, hope you guys enjoyed that game. I enjoyed it. We had a lot of blunders, so let's uh, go into the review and see what we blundered. Okay, we played at a 77.8, and we had a huge advantage. We really screwed it up here, and um, let's see where our mistake was, because that, that's no good. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be um, throwing away such a big lead. Anyway, uh, he played really well. He he uh, he came back. Okay, so you overlooked a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. So we're defending here, uh, but this is kind of the whole trap here. Um, it's very easy for him to make a mistake. There's only really one good move is this one. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But here we attack his king. He does the best move. Here we castle, and uh, it says that that is a blunder. Or no, it's a miss. So the best move, I'm assuming, is take this. Okay. It says that if we don't take it straight away, that they can eventually win a pawn, but I feel like they win a pawn immediately if we take it straight away. Like, don't they just win this? Then we would go c3. And the queen will go d8, holding this. And then bishop takes b8. d7. And then queen g3. Um, g3. Oh, I guess to hold the defense here. Okay, so we should just take... Okay, so if this trap ever happens in the future, we'll go straight for that rook. I guess that's, that's good to know. Um... What was his best move? Let's see what his best move was. It's probably 
bishop here? Oh, I'm not sure, but, but let's see. Um, his best move would have been knight here. Okay, because knight hits here and it hits here. So then if we take here, then he takes. And then we uh, can't take back because of this pin. So that's not something I saw. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, but if we take back here, then this just loses the game for us. So good to know that we need to take there. Um, that's, that's good to understand that. Um, the rest of the game, they don't like this. Um, they wanted us to develop our knight here. Um, and he honestly defended really well until, until he didn't. This is where I'm uh, not as strong. And here, I blunder. So it says, I let him capture my rook and win material. And I didn't even see this in the game. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even see this. It's disgusting. How can I move into danger like this? <sighs> like, actually, it's so bad. And why does he not see it? He goes here. Like, this is just so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, tick was the best move. We had this good idea. G5 would have been a little bit better. At this point, we just start to play fairly decent. And we are able to convert everything. Was the pawn up the best move? No, what was the best? Just bringing the knight back to defend. Because then the, the knight can't jump here. Okay, uh, I played at a 1700, my opponent played at a 1300, you can see there was a few big time blunders there that um, we made, and our opponent didn't uh, take advantage of them, uh, that one blunder was, was pretty bad, um, just moving our rook right up into the middle of the, the pony's vision, I need to play better than this, and I'm not going to get to 2k if I blunder like that. I'm not going to make any excuses for this. I just need to always check uh, the position after I move and say, is anything attacking me? <laughs> just look at their minor pieces and see where their minor pieces can move. Like, that's so simple. But anyway, we got another victory. We are um, now at 1668 and we're getting closer to 1700. I'll see you guys tomorrow.